Ate Chigumadi. I am an SAS novelist. I live in South Africa. I was born in Zimbabwe. Um, and my first book is called Sweet Medicine. It was published in 2015. It's my first time in Nigeria. Um, my first time at this festival, of course. And it's really been wonderful to be able to see and experience other African writers. I think particularly as, as you know, black South African writers, we don't always get the opportunity to interact with other African writers. So the, the extent to which it is very much a pan-African um, event has been really, really wonderful. I am incredibly heartened by the number of women who've been represented. There's still a long way to go, um, you know, and to, particularly around honoring um, literary icons, um, African women writers. That's, that's a very, very important aspect that, that we would still need to work on. And we want to be, as, as women writers who are here, we are very much interested in being part of that project of making sure that we, we have a festival that really pushes away at the historical nature of African literature being a boys club. Um, that's really, really important. Um, I've also really, really enjoyed the audiences. Um, audiences who read and love reading, not only their love for Nigerian literature is amazing, their love for other African writers is really, really fantastic. And I really appreciated the ways in which the audiences were challenging. They showed up, particularly for women writers, particularly for queer women writers, when there were not so progressive comments being made on stage and, and through the audience. And I think that is really exciting to see our public spaces becoming very vibrant and not in the ways that are necessarily sort of hyper masculine and, and continue to exclude and erase women. But I think this really bodes well for where African women writers in particular will go and how they'll be archived, how they'll be celebrated, and how they can really just be and feel at home within the African literary landscape. In South Africa, we, should be, we are celebrating our own festival, a black literary festival in a black majority country. That just speaks to the, the ridiculousness of you know, our colonialism of, of a special type that we have in South Africa. And so there is that realization, and many of us are moving and pushing towards Ha establishing black black um, publishing houses, establishing black um, retailers, um, but the, I think it's also important to know that, or to realize that a lot of those changes are very much linked to what happens in the wider social structure. So, you know, as long as we have not dealt at economic level, the overall economic level of white domination of the economy and socioeconomic institutions, we're going to have to continue fighting these battles. But I'm very much hopeful, and I continue to see um, ways in which you know black people are taking upon themselves. For example, the, the publisher of my first book, um, Blackbird Books, is a, is a black-owned um, publisher. We're seeing other um, publishers like Aduzile Mabaso. Um, there's a whole range of people doing really, really exciting works and, and recognizing the importance of owning your own platforms. Ownership is a really, you know, uh, you know if we're talking about black consciousness, self-determination is a really, really important part of, of, of the journey towards liberation. And I think that is what we're beginning to see, and I'm really excited for that. Aside from the food, the jollof rice, what I've really enjoyed um, about Ake, um, it's unfortunate that it's something that I, I have to mention, but really, coming from a country like South Africa that is so white dominated and, and black writers are really marginalized at all levels of the, of the value chain, it really is so affirming. And again, particularly not only that background, but also in the moment of Trump and Brexit and all of these things happening, it really is affirming to be one in a black nation um, that's so wealthy in, in its culture um, and the ways in which people express themselves and to be here at a black literary festival where to say black is almost redundant um, it really is something that's really affirming to be part of and to see us being vibrant and confident is, is, is something that I, I know many other African writers take for granted um, but unfortunately I don't and this, this it, it feels to some extent uh, like a glimpse into a literary future which we're trying to build right now in South Africa. So I really, really am incredibly grateful for this opportunity because often we get so bogged down and so hurt and exhausted by having to fight the battles that we have to fight in decolonizing our, our, our literary spaces and, and industries. 
and to have something like this is really a respite and it gives you hope and it gives you a vision for what you want to create so this is really really wonderful thank you mm -hmm.